Hi, friends, how do you do? Doing well? Happy? Let us learn English speech together. In this video, I have chosen some more words. Uh, today my plan is uh, to tell you that the dictionary gives you the meaning, literal meaning of a word and the figurative meaning of words also and so many other uh, connotations of words, uh, association of words, uh, etc. Uh, the words I have chosen are angel, dictionary, dictionary, jewelry, jewelry, monster, iron, exploded. Exploded is a verb and all other uh, uh, words uh, chosen are uh, nouns. Angel is not a new word. Like that dictionary. Dictionary is also not a new word. And this is a noun. So the first syllable is stressed. This is also a noun. The first syllable. So how to pronounce these words? Angel. Dictionary. And jewelry. Jewelry. Monster. Almost nouns you know the first syllable. Monster. Iron. Exploded. 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 Did. Exploded. This is how we have to pronounce these words. Okay. We'll, we are going to see the literal meaning of these words and the figurative meaning of these words too. Literal meaning you know. The original meaning. That is angel. An angel is an imaginary being. A godly being sent from God. Messengers of God. Uh, getting messages from God to man. Coming down to earth. Helping man. Supporting man. Uh, being kind to man. Doing all good deeds to man. So, good beings. Imaginary beings. Not human beings. You are my angel. When you say... You are my angel. Literal sense uh, won't work here. My angel. You can't be an angel. You are uh, a human being. This, uh, you know, you are my angel. My mother or father, my lover, my child. You are my angel. So, an angel, you are my angel. As loving, as supporting, as kind enough, like an angel. So, you are my angel. Okay, we can't uh, have an angel with us. We can't own an angel uh, for us. Uh, so, this is figurative meaning. That is, besides literal meaning, we have another meaning which we say figurative meaning, which is more meaningful, more effective. Uh, for extra effect, this uh, expression is used. Many words, many phrases in all languages and in also in English. That is uh, in two senses, literal sense and the figurative sense. They are used. When you use any word figuratively, it becomes rich, effective, powerful, uh, interesting also. That is why speakers and writers use uh, the figurative meanings of words. It is unavoidable, inevitable, inevitable. Because you know, only then we can express our uh, emotions, uh, uh, opinions, ideas fully. So, what is a figurative meaning? Figure, figurative meaning. Uh, any, every language has got figures of speech. Different forms of, besides uh, literal sense, besides, uh, that, that is other forms of expressions uh, to use uh, language uh, uh, very effective, powerful, interesting, uh, meaningful also, more meaningful also. So, figures of speech. What are figures of speech? Every language has got it. English has got it. Tamil also has got it. Every language. So, simile is a figure of, uh, um, that is a uh, uh, figurative language. Figure of speech. In speech we use. Uh, that is a comparison. Direct comparison is simile. That is, uh, that is you are my uh, angel. That is, uh, uh, if you say you are as uh, uh, kind, supporting, good uh, as an angel to me. If you say, you know, uh, that is uh, uh, direct comparison. This is, uh, when you say uh, you are my angel, 
implied comparison that is metaphor that is the difference between simile and metaphor both are comparison simile is a direct comparison direct comparison a metaphor is implied this is implied comparison you are my angel means as loving as supporting as helping as an angel to me as an angel to me so you are an angel that is as helping as an angel to me means this is simile so that is a comparison direct comparison metaphorical here you know the comparison is implied within inside inside not obviously expressed outwardly expressed there are many other figures of speech imagery is another figure of speech there is beautiful pictures in poetry beautiful pictures in film songs you come across when you sing the beauty of your lady love mother father so beautiful images that is an angel peeping through clouds and looking at her lover on the earth there is an english poem i remember in this context very beautiful picture she is no more here and her lover is here still living and she is looking down from there and then looking for her lover here so very beautiful pictures these are uh, that is uh, imagery and uh, onomatopoeia uh, oxymoron various expressions forms of expressions in poetry as well as in uh, prose writing we will uh, take it up uh, in another video i'll uh, go elaborately there so what is important here every word every phrase in english not every word every phrase many words phrases that is literal sense also is used yeah, with the literal sense they are used also with the figurative sense meaning also they are used this is one example and dictionary coming to dictionary that is she is a class dictionary how can a girl or a lady be a dictionary literal sense there's no literal sense here it is figurative sense that is how a dictionary helps you giving the meaning of words phrases many other things uh, so much information uh, improving your brilliance uh, and uh, she is helping her friends in the class uh, uh, giving the meaning of many words uh, uh, the, uh, her friends need not look in the dictionary that is uh, she is quite uh, ready uh, that is uh, Uh, she knows much uh, so she is uh, our class dictionary so compare to a dictionary she gives information meanings of many words to the to her friends classmates do you understand so the expression is very different here effective powerful so this is a figure figurative meaning jewelry 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 is a jewel you know ornament piece of ornament pieces of ornament rings bangles chains earrings diamond rich stones gems all comes under that is involve jewelry that is she is a walking jewelry shop jewelry jewelry shop see how beautiful it sounds strange also she is how can she be a shop walking that is moving walking jewelry shop meaning full of ornaments she has decorated herself with many ornaments uh, that as a shop has numerous ornaments in display she displays so many ornaments now there is you know not only girls ladies boys men also they wear ornaments that is on one year uh, stud or on both ears and the heavy chains bracelets so many other ornaments they wear it's uh, very interesting so she is a walking jewelry uh, jewelry shop he is a Uh, a walking uh, jewelry shop so why the language is powerfully used here effectively used uh, so that is a uh, figurative sense uh, of this uh, sentence then monster who is a monster we narrate stories to our uh, children uh, about uh, monsters who have a uh, big head enormous uh, figure uh, and looking clumsy ugly doing bad uh, devil things that is uh, a stories you know uh, these monsters belong to prehistoric times we say once upon a time long long ago uh, too long ago like that so monster but uh, that is the meaning uh, literal meaning that is he is a monster people consider him as a monster they consider him as a monster or if i don't like a person i call him or her a 
monster because you know he is ugly uh, for me or he or she ugly for me and uh, I don't like uh, very bad behavior not at all agreeable to me they are not a good behavior a man of good behavior and that is very bad behavior so you know so literal sense this is not the literal sense this is the literal sense monster animal like more animal like and here figurative expression iron iron is a chemical substance you know very hard and strong and uh, it is a uh, uh, we are using iron, uh, we make many materials and then steel, to, we make steel uh, materials uh, etc. So, a person is called an iron man, iron willed person, she is iron willed person, she is iron willed, meaning uh, that is a strong uh, motivation uh, they have, such people have uh, and they have a goal, always a target in front of them and uh, very strong, uh, they are very uh, stiff, stern in achieving, uh, very steady in achieving their goal and target. So, iron willed, that is Sarvallabhai Patel, iron willed man, iron man. So, nowadays, you know, races are being conducted uh, for guys, uh, uh, for men, uh, both men and uh, women that is uh, that is to uh, award they award uh, medals uh, trophies uh, for iron men iron uh, women uh, you know uh, guys uh, i hope so so iron willed so this is a uh, uh, figurative expression this is a normal literary uh, literal meaning iron is a chemical substance that is the headman of the team exploded with rage what is an explosion or what explodes? A bomb explodes. Uh, that is any explosive explodes. Blows off and bursts out uh, with loud noise. Uh, creating uh, uh, much damage and dangers uh, to humanity, to the society. Sometimes uh, ending up in fire, huge fire. Okay. So, the headman of the team here, he is not exploding. How can a human being explode? So, this is a figurative expression. That is, uh, all uh, figurative uh, sense, you know, uh, that is when we, uh, that is to help uh, uh, describe persons and their conduct and their mood and their behavior, whether they are angry or uh, ugly or whether they are bad, something like that, mostly. So, the headman of the team, very angry, ferocious, exploded with rage. Rage means anger. He exploded, almost exploded, creating heavy noise, uh, shouting at people, using bad words, scolding them, offending them. So, that is the meaning. That is a figurative meaning. So, a sort of comparison is made. <clears throat> As an explosion causes much damage, danger, uh, and this man's anger, rage, you know, caused much danger, noise, okay, irritation. So that is that is why, you know, metaphorical language it is. Figurative language is a metaphorical language, basically. Metaphorical, you know, there's a sort of comparison coming inside. That is between one thing or another association of ideas. So I hope you find it interesting. Learning is always uh, a delight. That do you know, learning a lesson uh, is uh, very much delightful. Uh, and if you have the mind to learn, uh, it is uh, it will be certainly like a piece of cake for you. A piece of cake, modern idiom, expression used by people. Uh, meaning, it will be easy for you to uh, do anything. It will be a piece of cake to you means uh, it will be easy for you to do a thing. When you have the mind, uh, it will be a piece of cake to you. I hope so. You will learn it daily. Learn one or two words. Uh, practice them in sentences uh, and uh, improve your vocabulary and add to your uh, fluency in English. I will wind up with this uh, and I will meet you in my next